Let's, let's go right. Now the arguing about whether the scoreboard is correct. Back. Which it seems to be. Third attempt. Well, you could try and put the red right on the pink, leave the cue ball on the opposite side cushion. Something like that, but could have played it just a little bit harder. the frame time quite a bit more to go I suspect well I don't I can't believe that he went for the pot I can only assume he hit it all wrong Got a result out of it by the blue going safe. Very tense frame this, nearly 40 minutes. And uh, Liam Highfield, 18 points in front. There's been chances on both sides. Very tense. Well, maybe a chance of getting the, the cue ball in behind the brown. Send the red down the table towards the pink. Gradually, the colours going towards the cushions.
Oh, a chance to put some distance between them here. And that looks pretty good. Come off the left side cushion, maybe. Oh, not that one. Oh, he's going to be in big trouble here. Right down the table. Thought he would have bring in the blue into play. Oh, well, that's tied the yellow up. A little unfortunate. Trying to develop the blue. Wait for this, wait for this, wait for it. Oh, well. Talk about KG. Well, you might be able to go out and have a meal and come back. <laughs> this red could still be on the table then. We've already had about 15, 20 minutes with the pink over the pocket. Go on, Mark, the shout. Well, what's he supposed to do here? <laughs> Pot it? Well, if he gets the snooker here, he'd be in big trouble. <laughs> There's going to be a development in, in, in a moment. He hit it, but he's going to be in trouble. That's a snooker, I think. No. Oh. <laughs> wow. Audience loving this. This is the highlight of the evening for some of these people. This little tactical duel. Foul. Very thin. I think he did it. No, he did hit that. No, he did hit that. No, no. I'm sorry about the wording, but I did hit that. Very thin. Well, this is huge. Let's have a look. It's hard to tell from the angle we saw. It seemed to, to, slight, to, to just graze the red, which is what the referee said. But it was a bit inconclusive, the replay. And you put some distance between the ball here. No. <laughs> Left handed? No. <laughs> How do I hit it? An air shot almost there. A few oohs and ahs. Point is, if the yellow drops, the red's on. Then the whole game's on, really. Yeah, I thought it could put a little bit of distance from there. And that would make it 
Very difficult. Oh, oh, it's gone in, it's gone in, and as I say, the red was always going to be on. Well, what a way to go. Yeah. It is a, an easy starter. The only problem is the green. One. I like the way everyone applauded <laughs> when the yellow went in. I'm not sure why. <laughs> well, that's a good ball to take the brown because it was going to be very difficult to get to the brown from the green. Fancy him to pot this and get on to the brown. Looks like he's going for it though. No, oh, that's a great shot. What a great shot that was. Oh, you're not kidding. Wow. He has come to the party at exactly the right time, bearing in mind some of the balls he was missing in this frame. 14. That is a super shot. He needs blue and pink. And surely he's not going to miss either. Ninety. An epic frame. And it's gone to Mark Williams, who was a little rattled earlier on, but he's levelled up and taken it to 4-4. Four -four, so the match now effectively best of three it's all to play for here in York 